Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to embed your Facebook page events into your website using Sociable Kit and the website builder WordPress. So today, we are going to use one of our demo pages in Facebook to show you guys the, those events that we uh, created to, uh, to be embedded in WordPress. So without further ado, we are going straight to the tutorial. So first things first, we are going to the official website of the Sociable Kit, which is sociablekit.com. And in here, if you guys haven't created your account yet, if you haven't registered, you can sign up for free. So it's all free, guys, and you can click by signing up in this button. If you click this button, sign up for free, and this button too, up here, you can sign up for free. So if you have already created your account, you can now click the login button and you will be putting your um, credentials in the email and password so now we are in the creation of widget screen so in here yeah um, uh, sometimes you can uh, sometimes it will redirect you to the widget page which displays the with the uh, recent widget that you created if you have already created a widget before or if you have already created an account before and you have a some widgets that you created it will uh, sometimes redirect you to that page and if you want to create a new page or a new widget you can always click in the top right of your screen this create widget button so if you click this it, it will always redirect you back to the creation of widget page so in here uh, we are going to choose our widget type Click this drop down list and from the search bar we are going to search the Facebook page event so here it is going to click it and from here uh, it will show you a different uh, screen so in my screen uh, my Facebook is already connected so in your screen there will be a connect a Facebook button which you will have to connect your Facebook so it will uh, it uh, that Facebook will be the source of the events so if you have already pre uh, connected your Facebook and then this screen will be shown to you so in here in this drop down list so you can see the multiple pages that we have so the ace page DSM offers posted by DSM and SK dev page so in our uh, in uh, for the sake of our tutorial for today we're going to choose this uh, Facebook page the posted by DSM so now we are going to select our time zone so uh, it really depends on the country that you are in so in uh, my case we are in Manila so we are going to click this time zone and we're going to click next and now from here we are going to wait for the events to show up so sometimes it uh, takes a few seconds a few minutes sometimes it will take uh, decent minutes like 20 30 so it really depends so uh, we're just gonna have to wait for now and I will get to uh, get back to you guys uh, if it's if the events will show up so welcome back guys so here is our uh, this is the current uh, events so this is the events now so it's synced up so this is the events of the posted by dsm so the, this is the uh, page that uh, one of our demo pages so here it is here are the events and now we are going to the uh, left side of the screen which is the create uh, customization and uh, customization and uh, moderation tabs and uh, I'm going to discuss this one by one so we're going to uh, through each of one of this one by one so first the basic tab so in here is the basic name so here in the names you can change the name of the widget so for example you went uh, to take a break and you want to get back to it later and in here uh, you can change the name of the widget so you'll know in the uh, widget list which widget you are working on before so for example uh, event bds at dsm so this is the name of the widget 
So now in the website URL, I'm going to post uh, what uh, or what is the website URL that I want. So for example, the DSM events dot com. So this is my website URL. So this is the time zone too. I can also still I can also still change it in here. And this is also the Facebook ID or the Facebook page that I used. So this is it. I'm going to save changes. And now we're going to the themes tab. So in here is the different kinds of themes and different kinds of color combinations. So this is the themes and each uh, themes, if you click on them, has its own color combination that if you save changes, it will apply in the, uh, it will apply on the widget itself. So if you click save change, this will uh, change. So as you can see the color palette or the color combination that it, it, that it will use is now applied in the uh, events. So now I want it to be this Maayos theme. So if I save changes, it should always or it should change the color. So here it is from the color of the background, the color of the pop-up. So here is the pop-up. Here is the button, color of the buttons. Everything is changed. So the color of the fonts too. So everything is changed. And now in the Feeds tab, you can change the default view. So for example, I want it to be masonry, grid, carousel, or month. So in my case, I want it to be grid. So I can also change the event count, how many events it should display. I think I only want five in the, um, the post height. I think this is good. I can also change the month, the date. I can show canceled events. I think I'm not going to show, show canceled events. And uh, that is it. So I'm going to save change. And it should change into grid on only five accounts. So here it is. It changed into grid and only have five, five event count displayed. So here it is. Everything is good so far. Now in the items tab. So in here, uh, there are many different uh, checkboxes. So as you can see here, uh, each tech checkbox has, has its own features. So in here, uh, in this checkbox, it can show the event image or not, or show the full image. In the event text, you can show the event title, the day, the hosted label, and so on. So everything is in here. You can guys check the buttons. Here it is, the location. I can show the location. This is, I think, important um, uh, when it comes to events because it shows, uh, it shows the visitors or the customers the location of the event itself so I think this is really important so the date and time so everything is in here you can guys uh, customize it if you guys want so I'm going to save changes I didn't really change anything so it's still the same now in the bar tabs so also this is also another um, check boxes which has its own different purpose so date picker date button search box the show list view i think i'm not gonna show the search box because it only has five show grid view month view i think everything is good here i think I'm going to uncheck this and check this because i am i i am using grid view so now I can also change the background color of the bar, the background, the activity tab, the text color, everything that is in here can be changed. So I'm going to save changes and let us see here if this change. And now going to the moderation tab, I can reject events and search the predefined search keyword. So next in the colors tab, so in here, if you guys didn't like the color theme or any of this, you can create your own or you can create uh, or you can change some of the um, some of the content, the color of the content. So for example, you like for example you like the font color and the buttons color, but you don't like the background color, you can change it here 
in the colors tab so I can only I or I will change the color of the background so if I don't like it I can change it here and I can make it transparent and so on and I think I think everything is how I want it I, I really like this theme so I'm not gonna change anything I'm just gonna save changes and now in the fix in the text themes um, we're going to revert it back because I like it before the text theme you can also change the text itself so you can change the hosted text in here so it displays here the hosted by or the read more the recurring event so basically all the text that is included in your event so you can change everything in here so now in the months tab you can align it in the left center or right or you can also change the border color of it and also show or unshow this uh, check boxes so now in the pop-up you can show the map which is really important in uh, uh, in events and show the images this the schedule the location and so on so now you can also view also or change the text here just like in the text tab you can also take uh, change that text in the pop-up so now in the badge I can also change the position of it the color the text color in the background and so on so now in the fonts tab I can change the color or I mean I can change the font family of the font so for example I want it to be century gothic but if I save change, it should change everything to Century Gothic. So here it is. It is changed. As you can see here, if I click the pop-up, it is also changed into um, Century Gothic fun family. So everything is good. Everything is how I wanted it to be. And now in the buttons tab, you can change the color of the button. So if you don't like this brown or if you don't like the color combination that the themes chose you or chose for you you can change it here manually and I can also uncheck this because I only want five and not save changes so it should remove the load more button now it is gone so now this is how I want my uh, event uh, to look like or to be displayed so now I'm going to embed it into the website so first things first we're going to click it in the top right of your screen this embed on button if I click this we are going now to select our website builder so in our case the website builder we are going to use is WordPress so I can click I can also click here or search it in the search bar if I cannot find it here so I'm going to select or type WordPress so here it is I'm going to select and from here it will display the step-by-step -step instruction on how to embed this in your WordPress so we're going to copy this copy the code and now we're going to the word uh, WordPress and go to the dashboard on the left side and add new pages and from here we're going to add the title so for example uh, DSM events 2023 so now we are going to post the code so we are going to add a block and from here we are going to search for in the search bar the custom HTML so here it is and from here we are going to paste the embedded code so always remember guys uh, do not forget that you can always change it or this uh, customize it in your own in your visual code or somewhere else any programming application that you are using you can add more features design and color and so on so uh, do not remember it you, you can guys put your own code here so that is all guys uh, uh, all we have to do now is publish the page itself so we are going to view it so we can see the preview or the website itself so here it is everything is how I wanted it to be five uh, it only has five uh, events that is displayed which is what I or what we uh, change and now 
you can also see the color of the uh, pop-up we can see everything we can see every single thing so here it is this is the events the color is exactly the same the buttons if I click this it should go to the here it is the page itself so I can also it, it will redirect to the page itself so now from here we are going to the um, I think everything is this is it so now if you guys learned something I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this so thank you guys for listening and thank you for watching guys and I hope you guys you can guys check the comments down below if you guys uh, have more questions suggestions or feedbacks from uh, this video you can check it out guys and you can also go to our channel which you can guys check our video tutorials for different kinds of widgets and for different kinds of website builders so thank you guys and if you guys are inter interested in uh, having a partnership with us or trying our product or services you can go to the official website of social book Hit and click the pricing and from here you can try our free, free plan which we, uh, you will have seven days premium trial of our feature uh, our premier features and from there if the seven trials seven days trials it has ended you can now choose if you either want it to continue or not so you can uh, now try our subscription plans starter kit one and business kit one so here is the features for each um, subscription plans so that is all guys thank you guys for listening and, and i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in the next one